video here. Look at that lean tissue. No weights here. <laughs> That's why cyclists don't do weights, because if you put on too much upper body muscle, it adds to weight on the climbs. That's why you ride these lightweight carbon bikes where the frames are like 900 grams and you want to put on muscle on the upper body, it makes no sense at all. So I stay away from heavy weights so I can stay as skinny as possible for cycling. Another quick tip here, when you're uh, using cutting zip ties to save plastic, here's a little zip tie, cable tie, whatever you call it, cut it before the head, don't cut it on the head. So then we can just pull that out there like that and we can use it again, all right? So then we put it in, you can put a knife in there with your fingernail, open it up again, or if you're gonna cut it, don't cut the head off, cut the tail and then you can recycle again. Saves people using zip ties over and over. Let's give my bike a quick clean. Do you need to have probiotics? A lot of people sell you probiotics in the raw food world, but it's, it's a joke, it's a joke. The reason why they have to sell you that stuff is that the diet they promote is just so high in fat that your healthy bacteria is just getting starved. It's just getting starved. So you have to take the probiotics so you can have some sort of digestion going on there. So the reason why we don't sell probiotics is that we don't promote a diet that is high in fat. Because when you're eating a lot of fat, you're gonna feel shit. You're gonna have bloating, your gut's all heavy, and your healthy bacteria is gonna be, uh, there's basically two types, two entrotypes of bacteria in the human body, you main two, uh, protovella and uh, bacterioid. So if you're eating a diet high in carbohydrate, you're gonna to have to more the, uh, the protovellus type, and if you're eating a diet high in fat and protein, you're gonna have the more the bacterioid type both of which have different things going on there. So my tip is, eat a diet that's high in carbohydrates. Obviously fruit being the best, the best carbohydrate for your body and for your healthy bacteria flora. And that's why we don't need to use any probiotics because we eat a healthy diet. We eat a diet high in carbohydrate, low in fat. If you're eating a lot of nut butters and nut cheeses, then yeah, you're gonna have a lot of Heavy guts, man. <laughs> People ask me, Harley, why don't you do juice fasting and that? Any, you know, why don't you into that? And it's like, well, I don't eat the heavy stuff anymore. I don't eat the heavy stuff anymore because that stuff just does not work. It doesn't work. It's, it gets you all greased up and gunky inside. You know, you want to have clean, clean carbohydrate, high carb diet, high octane, and uh, so probiotics are a gimmick, really. They're a gimmick, and they're people's. I can hear some people say, but Harley, what about, you know, like, if you grew up on antibiotics, hey man. <laughs> I was one of the sickest kids in school. I was always on antibiotics, amoxicillin, penicillin, etc., etc. That's why I'm, one of the reasons why my teeth are so yellow, just permanent staining from antibiotics. Amoxicillin just rips your enamel off your teeth. So, <sighs> I don't take probiotics, man. You don't need to. Even though I grew up very unhealthy on a lot of antibiotics, but my digestion now is just incredible because I eat well. If you eat well, your probiotics are gonna be at healthy levels and a healthy bacteria type. If you're eating a diet poor in simple carbohydrates, then yeah, you, 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 your body can't thrive, it can't function optimally. That's why people who go on these you know, low fruit, low carb, low sugar diets have such a problem with the probiotic issues, digestion. Nuts, one of the hardest plant foods to digest, followed by oil, and then you have people, <laughs> the dog's taking a dump over there, then you have people, no I won't show you that, then you have people who are like, telling you live on oil and nuts and, and buy our probiotic blend. So there's, there's no reason to have them man. I grew up in antibiotics, I don't pro take probiotics. My digestion is incredible. Incredible digestion, incredible energy levels without the crack hour, without the caffeine. I know some people that drink, you know, four or five cups of coffee a day. Because if they don't have that, they just can't function. Just And they're eating a diet just too low in simple sugars, not enough, not enough. Too much fat, too much protein, 
just can't function properly and need stimulants to get through the day. Probiotics, absolute gimmick. Absolute gimmick. What you do is you say, don't eat, don't eat a fruit diet, eat lots of nut butters and live on green juice, and then buy my probiotic. Because you, when you have a lot of nuts, everyone knows you get nut gut. You know, it's like it's like you swallowed a brick of cashew cheese or whatever. So you're having that, and then you think, oh, I feel so shit. Like, oh my god, like I need some energy. Okay, give me some cacao. Oh, my guts, like my bloating, it just looks terrible. Give me some probiotics and maybe try and help that. But it doesn't really, does it? It's just a, it's just a symptom mask. It's like a band aid. It doesn't treat the cause. It addresses the symptom. So you're always better off eating that high carb diet. So probiotics gimmick gimmick and they're always sold by people who don't promote the high carb lifestyle isn't it isn't that always interesting go to someone's website and see what they sell and what they teach easy doesn't make people bad people or what i'm not saying that you know people out there like i mean there's some people out there who know better like mccola and david wolf they know better they're just dollar hungry people and then there's people like dan the man and that who just Dan's still a noob. You know, I rate Dan, he's a great guy, but he's still a noob. He doesn't, like, he's, you know, he's trying to live on cucumber juice and shit, like, <laughs> and I don't know what Dan's eating to make him want to just fast every second week. He has to do some sort of cleanse. It's like, when you eat and live healthy, you don't want to cleanse anymore because your lifestyle becomes the cleanse. So guys like Dan selling probiotics, he's just a noob. He's just, just trying to learn his way, and that's fair enough. But there's a lot of guys out there who, you know, just the multi-millionaires like McCola and Dave Wolf and McCo- uh, Matt Monarch and all those crew. Just just nonsense, nonsense. So some people out there selling probiotics because they genuinely believe it and they're just feeling sick, they're eating too much gunk and they need some sort of thing, little stimulant or whatever. And there's people out there who know it's just a gimmick. No, it's just a gimmick like Corona and that. It's gimmick. There's so many gimmicks out there. There's so many gimmicks out there and people want to buy gimmicks. They want to buy gimmicks. People, I can understand why there's so many snake oil sellers out there because there's so many suckers out there who don't want to learn fundamentals. They don't want to learn fundamentals. They just want to buy shit. And it's the same in the cycling industry. People just want to buy things and think that's going to make the difference. They don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to do the training. They don't want to get a power meter and learn how to train properly. They're like, no, no, no. Like, I want to buy a pair of $5,000 wheels or whatever. But, or, you know, or just spend money on things that aren't really necessary fundamentals is what you've got to learn so probiotics just gimmick a gimmick a gimmick that's all too popular in the health world and they 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 make a lot of money you know what i mean they make people a lot of money because if you're selling those things man they're normally coming out of china or india and they're just so cheap to make they're so cheap to make and uh i actually rang up the company that Dan sells for NCP, Natural Choice Products, and uh, I contacted them and said, do you have an ingredients list for your product? <laughs> and normally, if you, if you write to Coca-Cola and say, what's in your product, they'll tell you. They'll give you an ingredients list. So I called a uh, contact Natural Choice Products and said, what's in your stuff? And they wrote back and said, why do you want to know? And I'm like, hang on, I'll send right back. I'm actually, because I'm a health person, I'm into health, and I like to know what I'm putting in my body. And then they wrote back and said, uh, sorry, we can't tell you what's in our products. It's a secret. It's proprietary blend, meaning where our products are full of shit and we don't want you to tell you the truth. So I wrote back and said, okay, fair enough. Do your products contain animal products? And they wrote, no animal products in any of our product. But I'm like, and then I wrote back, bullshit, because you sell whey protein and you sell other things that got pig pancreatic enzymes in there. They didn't write back after that. So be warned, a lot of companies out there are actually not in your best intention. So you actually just just money making scams, man. So be careful of who you invest your money with and who you trust with your health. Because a lot of people out there don't really give a fuck about you and they just want your money. They're always selling you something. Buy this, buy that, join this club. Just sell, sell, sell. <laughs> what do we sell you? I've got a $2 audio book out. That's the only thing I've ever sold in my life in the health world. Freely's sure got an e-book out there. That's all we're gonna sell you is maybe one or two books for your entire life. We might promote a couple of people, but we don't even get any money back from it. Recently promote Kevin, and uh, cause he's a great guy and he's, he's starting up. 
So we'll use our social media base to promote these people with zero financial gain for ourselves, just because we see them coming up and we want to give them a, give them a head start. So that's, uh, we just don't, we, we don't want your money like that. We don't want your money. Buy our book, you know, give us $30 out of your whole life. Buy our book one day, and that's all, 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 all you need to do. We don't sell monthly consumables, because they're just bullshit. They're a gimmick, you know? They're a gimmick. But hey, that's just us. Don't have nothing personal against anyone else. Just, just sharing my opinion, that's all it is. And uh, that's all it is, man. So, probiotics, gimmick, eat a high carb diet, get the early nights, get some sport, get some sunshine, and uh, just get amongst it, you know? Get fit, get off the caffeine, get off the cacao, and these things that just ruin your health. Because otherwise, you just get caught in a trap of uh, gimmicks and fads. All right, I'm gonna get back to this bike. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. We don't want your money. We want to educate you with health fundamentals and fitness fundamentals. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. 28 million views today. Awesome.